Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sabo Zay here back with another video playing some more uh, Madden NFL 24. This video is going to be about Asian, Asian James. And, yeah, because, and, ah, bro, I want to do gameplays on all the, uh, um, uh, what's the names? Uh, what these motherfuckers called? Okay. <laughs> uh, the Ring of Honors players, and what I did kind of messed up because I didn't put the, you know, the token into Asian Drain. I mean, Devin Hester already, so they could get that actual boost. So that's why he's a he's a 92 right there. So yeah, as you can see now, he got 97 overall. So now that's more like ain't it? Why why is a okay? There we go. But he got 97 speed, 99 um acceleration, 99 agility, 92 carrying, 72 catch, 92 generation, and 88. I mean, 86 truck, 93 brake talc, 6 to 219 pounds, uh, 91 to spin, 96 juke, and and for his ability, he got freight train, leapfrog, tank, bruiser, running back, print evasive, recuperation, and jukebox as well. Then he played for these three teams right there. So, yeah, man, let's get right into it. But man, we we gonna try to ball out, cause man, if y'all haven't watched our last video, go check it out, cause I can't I can't even say nothing about that, bro. Like, bro, I don't even wanna say nothing, cause y'all gotta have got to watch that to see what happened, see what occurred in that video. But we did did a, a um, Terry McLaurin video, aka Scary Terry. With Charles Davis, is no always, a I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, my certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, and I don't think Mary's you get by Thomas. for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, and then he's not on the top I should have put him game, as kick returner, but not going to I did it all. Because that would be four. I, I put the token in, and I forgot. So, yeah, yeah, Here's man. Here's the kicker, Harrison <laughs> Butker, ready to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Oh, my God. Devin, well, Devin Harrison is supposed to be activated there, man. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Got ready. All right, so he got inside stuff on Warren Stapp. Uh, me, Joe again, got inside stuff in Terrell Threat, and no outsider on Karen Jordan. They'll start on the ground here on first no. down. Stopped at the 24 yard line. Good little yards, good, good yards right there. Five, five, a five. Burst there, and he nicely bit yeah. off a pretty decent game. From the 24 now, here's the second and five. Here's James. Nowhere to Early. go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. As soon as I was about to get, get free to break this break, start running. So this nigga just tapped me out of nowhere like day, you just blocked. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Oh, yeah. The ground. It's yeah. Ooh, got That's first. Running there as he's so we gotta get four more now. To, the to get our get back in. Let's go. For the second play in a row. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and go. ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Ooh. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Jesse Bates yeah. made the tackle yeah. from his safety yeah. spot. Yeah. Ready. Ready. From the shotgun, it's Vic. How? Quickly, but it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read. And come almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Three, three. Nicky Maverick. Ready. From the gun, Vic. Is there... He's got his target. That's complete, and he is going to have a Packers first. Yeah, hey, I got like every single um, conversion. Solid uh, drive so far. Trying to honor her also, so like range, I'm using you know them. Everybody like six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. That nigga ran command. Okay. Body blows all game long, 
and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Okay, he drops. Second down from Vic, incomplete. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish it not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. It's a play fake. Now Vic on the move to his left. He's gonna go. Okay, that try to reroute him. That nigga did not go nowhere. You feel me? Like a disobedient, huh? They run it with James. And this is a fumble. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep Bro, possession. I had leap crawl. I don't put Postel with a fumble, right? He's in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team. Fumble Prevent fumbles while hurt. Missed off an yeah, opportunity yes. deep in the red zone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Here's Michael Vick. He's going to get that uh -huh. to his running back out of the backfield. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to I'm pick trying to get his game and touchdown so now, bad, bro. First and goal. Got he got, he got, he got the, his hard flats on zero. The uh, line, I can't goal. do no flats James. right now. Yeah, not a whole lot there. And damn, this nigga usually doesn't know how to break out of three. Get off a block so quickly. Drive from the three, this is third and goal. Off the play fake, Vic rolling to his left. Oh my God, dude! Oh, that's not it's a touchdown. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another that's reception. A touchdown, bro. Now Vic on fourth down, steps away. And it's hey. a Packers touchdown. Greg Olson. From three yards out, and the Packers' decision to go for it pays off now. with six points. Hey, like nigga, who did it? Many would call yes, that sir. a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was hey, no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed. Well, right when his person, message. I guess he like sent. I was trying to send him at me, try to get me. Go out and I had to throw it. Go ahead and pick it I had to throw up. someone because. No I trust my defense as well. Jane was get it. open at all. Hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. After one, seven, I'm, nothing. I used the, the whole sports. first quarter. <laughs> if he just let me get a big run, then we've been had these problems, guys. Like, that's all I'm here for. Try to get a big runs, make crazy Here's plays. Now, you know? to kick it away. With a 91 overall. A B? Okay. Oh, that's what we're doing, okay? And he'll be brought down oh. right at the 30 here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a I few inches left. Yeah. Cougar 19. Cougar 19. Vic now. And that is going to be yeah. incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond say, the reach that there better be his receiver. That's probably that one much. he wishes he had back. He wishes yeah. it had been seven on seven in practice. Or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes. What 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Down the numbers, there he goes. And he get a big run. That's crazy. But I can't. Eric Dickerson, 70 yards. 
yards. And his guys yeah, I got quick track like a motherfucker. I did like three adjustments. He already hiking the ball. Like. But I promise you, I'll be trying to quit. Just go up on down and just hike the ball, but I can never do it. <laughs> This nigga want to do every check, like, yeah, 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 over there, over there. Each like, team's nigga, just hike the Each ball, team bro. Scored. Seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. In hindsight, you should shut line. the fuck up. How about that? The I don't offense ready to get like, next drive <laughs> I don't underway. need you saying well, something. Certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time. Oh, nice time, little cut little up. More on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. I think this camera's running right here. On first down. Of course, it's bro. James, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll keep it on the ground. It's of course, like, how they get off the box? Hey, bro, as soon as I'm about to get loose through, through the hole, it's like, oh, they want to just come this, get off of it. Looking left side of his got a man. That's James. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line, not near enough to keep the drive alive. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackle. We'll oh give you the short God. stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Now they'll pitch it out here. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Touchdown. Thank you. Adrian James. Thank you. Adrian James. 33 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead. Yeah, Adrian James is he a good ass car though. It's crazy because he, he ain't playing like even though he got boosted up to a 97. Makes the score 14 to 7. Cool, but he don't like he feels like he a 99 low key. I like, he he could do the cuss, he could do the juke smoothly. Like, touchdown, Dustin Hopkins. I, I hope they drop a, a a a fire ass car with him, you know, like and he'll you know, elect like 99 speed, 99 everything the down there. The but this car ain't bad at all. Like every car they really drop of him, he he that guy like <laughs> Hey, that's a cool the running back to have. Back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game, and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33 to throw, Vic. Okay. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Dickerson trying the right side, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now here's Vic. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. One of the great coaches said football's really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. I was trying to adjust to that everything, but I didn't
And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Man, I could have sworn I activated a whole bunch of people on, on my defense. I, game as we approach I guess time. I didn't. That nigga, no, nobody in there got them no abilities activated. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hester to return from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Tie ball game. Still a little more than a minute to oh go. Oh, my God, the question, dude. Can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. What go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Now a deep ball there second down but it'll wind up incomplete they come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion throwing Vic steps away to his left a wild oh, yeah. throw there and it is intercepted picked up by Jesse Bates and a terrific return as he brings this I wish I could get pressure right like instantly you can easily yeah, that nigga on um, camera Jordan game. came off hot. If right I had time, that would have been a touch. Okay, score. you see, he was wide as fuck. Guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, "Look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys." So here's Vic following the interception. Wide open, Gronkowski. Touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, 30 yards, and his guys are going to take the lead. Extra point by Bunker. And guard could actually get the corner route by the open every time. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, bro. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. And that's caught inside the 30. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And this is how you answer a touchdown on the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. That's a pick. Now a throw. I'm trying to throw it high up, but up like right over him, but that was not that loud enough. Why did you stop oh, fucking moving? Oh my god, second. like if you would have kept going, you would have caught it. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side. Coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. 
and that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And now look at this big game. Now get it. What the fuck? We hear oh, this guy's red right, zone bro. efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. Vick will look to throw on first down. Thank you. Yeah. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Come on, y'all. They'll run on first down. <laughs> yeah, don't he block, bro. Cold behind the line of scrimmage. Defensively, it was none other than me, Joe Green, making the tackle. A three-yard yeah, loss to start the drive. They'll look team. to make that up, and then Kevin some Rodgers, on second Kevin and thirteen. Rodgers. Eighteen Rodgers. Vic to throw it. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Yeah. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Seventy nine. Warriors seventy. Dragon sixty. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On oh, first down. Of course, it's he James. Did. And he'll lose yardage. Oh, Brought down oh. to 32. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now a throw here to his running back. He's got room to. And he loses the every time. time. It, you got it. You, bro, you really got it. You really got it. What's the name, bro? Why is you? It's a hurdle. Uh, it's a hurdle, journal, whatever the fuck. It's still a hurdle. You dropping it, bro. It's wild to me. Vic readies to throw. Out to his left. Oh, oh, and now Vic throwing another interception. Yep. Take the pick, bro. And he get the pick six. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick mm. six. Hey, that's a great observation too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to right, end that should pissed me off by he just celebrating. I don't like it. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Now Hester will get a shot. Returnable here for Hester. And he'll be brought down right on the chair. He'll fumble on at the every jurdle when he don't supposed to. <laughs> About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Vic. 
And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. Of course you drop it. Incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Straight down the nigga up, but no. Here I can't get the first down and move the chains. Dancing to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And, and of course, I'll fucking lose, bro. Because guess what? Oh, everything is going to be shut down, bro. What they can do to crack this defense. Oh, to a wide open receiver. Oh, guess what? It, it's incomplete. Oh, he gonna knock it out. Like, Can't run the ball, so guess what? Inside stuff so gonna just fuck it all up. Yo, guess what? No one blocks. Boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Vic on second down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. As soon as I throw it, my person don't move, but he and his person went straight over there. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way. And you don't fumble. You don't fumble. You don't fumble. You don't fumble. What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Going deep for Diggs. Oh, Vicks throw intercepted. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And you don't block. Oh, like, come on. Are oh, you wearing right past him, dog? Ran right past him. It's crazy. Oh, I can't win for shit, bro. I'm about to lose three games in a row. Okay, I guess they they just that good, bro. They'll run on first down, James. And you fumbling? Okay. And cool. down to the 36-yard line here. I'm going now. Pass the 60. Pass the 60. The crazy, like I'm losing, he, and he, like he just know I'm trying to run the ball, like. But it's like, bro, like, I'm losing. You would think I'm trying to win, so I would have to pass, and he still ran the ball. Let's go now. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and three. Hey, hey, check that. Check that. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 67 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because what a he can't get ball. rid of it. He's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. 18, Rodwood, Florian, 17. Dragon 60. Now a second down throw for Vic. Forced out to his left. Okay. How is that? Don't let him too much that time. This it's game. incomplete. <laughs> I know Kim like how, Wilson bro? Says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. How? But sometimes how do you, fuck up you go that, ahead bro? and try you to. Buy his soul. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. This game. Oh. I don't know what to do, bro, because nothing don't be open, bro. Nothing ain't going to be open. The offense on third down tonight. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and 19. Take 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. 19 type, 19, go check, go check. Looking to throw. Vic. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And Vic's throw there incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a this great question, oh, and bro. my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower. Well, Come, on <laughs> Come on now. Come on now, like... Yeah, that, that was all me right there, the making the play to nothing. How they did a spin. Juke out. The and then I see you try to overplay it. Like a little scuffle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was Michael Vick from the pocket, throws oh, a touchdown yeah. pass. And I just think about the transformation okay, yeah. throughout his career. Yeah. From Atlanta, yeah. where he would take off and go at just about the drop of a hat. Oh, he's still and in this game, bro. In mush. And then by the end of his career in Philadelphia, where he completed pass like we just saw from the pocket, Yet still have those great legs when necessary to help get him out of trouble. Hopkins with the extra point, and now things oh, get man, a bit more interesting to here in this fourth quarter. And this one won't bounce their way. It's covered up by the hands team. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And. I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Vic's throw taken in by Collins. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Oh, let's stop him. We gotta stop him some way, somehow, bro. Dickerson on the handoff. Oh, it did not let me kick on. I was about to straight up die. Well, of course you said it, bro. Like none of my people react like this game, dude. I literally clicked on, tried to click on, and died. They said no. That's certainly an important touchdown there, and makes this a two-score game. Look, look, y'all niggas right there at this nigga shoulder, cause this tackle this nigga. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses. Hey, you want to get involved here? Oh, my here? God. I meant to lose, bro. I'm that can win the game meant for to us. Lose the game, bro. on for the PAT. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. Mm-mm-mm. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce yeah, out of the wrong. back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. 
Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Here's first down. 19 right. Vic now from the 50. Ah, then fucked up. And this is intercepted, uh, and that should do it. Oh, they try to line along the return. So, like, the if I loose. flipped, like, so if the play was regular, so speak, the person the I was throwing to, that would have been the button. I would have been throwing to, you feel me? Like, but that's all defense talk about. I have it flipped. That's why another reason why I don't flip my damn play. I mess up the money right there. Yeah, everything is be different. Exactly right. Lost opportunity. On first and ten, here's Vic. And that's pick. Come on, this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Fred Warner, and he'll get this one out to the fifty to the midfield stripe. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten, right at the fifty-yard line. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first. And I don't play it's shit. Bro. Footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 114 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now they're gonna throw it here with Vic. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Oh, and now Vic throwing another interception. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. About set to get this drive started. The green oh, you can hope for it. This nigga some more rushing yards so at this point. This drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue oh, to lead. Here comes second down and five. They'll keep it on the ground. James. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, more right stamina out there. The, 50. the Packers going to use one of their timeouts. Okay, ready. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. On first down, it's James taken down at the 47-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. They'll come up now on second down. They'll try to throw it here. Vic, flush to his right. Come on. <laughs> Oh my God! Bro. There. He could not hang on. It's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's James. And they nearly sprung him that time as he That's takes this all the way down to the 37. And he did. Now the Packers going to burn the third was that? and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Vic operating on first down. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Cut 50, cut 50, cut 19, cut 19. Second down, Vic. He's going to let it go again. And that will be incomplete. Uh, another loss, bro. But it was not to be. I guess I'm just an ass player, bro. Uh, rushing yards is it? 
I have 23 rushing yards, 120 yards, one touchdown, two fumbles, one break tackle, 41 yards, 41 rack, and he has seven receptions and 96 uh, receiving yards with one touchdown as well. But and Jamie, he is, he is a good he is a good running back to this. You could have as you know like a budget, bro, like a budget beast for sure. By having you could boost him up all the way to a 97, it's crazy. And he, yeah, actually good. He was breaking tackles. He was juking people. I just, they just don't never let me, you know, Sean, I guess. I don't know, bro. I lost three games in a row, bro. I am pissed off. So, yeah, bro, I don't even know what to say. But look, bro, I start off, I start off this game. I started recording and it was like, I was like, did I win two? Oh, I did win one game. 17 14. I don't remember them games. I just remember, I just remember losing. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I, I just remember losing. I don't remember winning games just now. But yeah, man, we're going to interview off right here, man. If y'all like that video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Y'all don't want to miss no videos coming. Not enough being said. Have a blessed day.